always glad when I have somebody to tell my story to. How have you been? Pretty good? Pretty good. And how have you been? Good. Pretty good. Um, okay, this is really important. Because if I don't tell you this story today, the rest of the grown-ups don't know the story that they kind of need to know today. Okay? So that's why it's really important you're here. So you can hear the story. So it comes from, we've read from this before. It's called the Spark Story Bible. And it tells us the stories that are in the grown-up Bible, but we get, you know, pictures, and it's worded a little bit different. But here's the story. Have you ever heard of the person Moses? Have you ever heard, you ever heard of him? Oh, my gosh. This is a big story about Moses. Okay, I'm going to give you a little bit of the back story before we get to here. Moses, there was a person, Pharaoh, who's like the king, was out to get rid of the babies. Now, that's a big story about why. But his, Moses' mom had this really good idea that she was going to protect Moses by putting him in a basket that was waterproof and putting him by the side of the river. And that his sister, his, his big sister, would watch him and make sure he stayed safe. And it turned out he did. And then there's a whole big story about what happened when Moses grew up. But Moses didn't think that God was going to use him for anything. Moses was like, I'm just lucky to be here. I do not think that God could probably use me because I've had some troubles. But turns out, one day, Moses is just out tending sheep. You know, we've talked about shepherds before. Were you a shepherd at, in the Christmas pageant? Or were you a king? You were a shepherd. So that's what Moses was just being a shepherd, watching his sheep. And so then this is what happens. It says, Moses was watching his sheep in the hot, dry desert. Suddenly, he saw a very strange fire coming out of the bush. It was a fire, but the bush did not burn up. Hmm. So Moses squinted his eyes. He looked around the bush one way, and he looked around the bush the other way. Moses, Moses, said a loud voice. Moses was scared. Uh, uh, here I am, he said. Take off your shoes, the voice thundered. The place where you're standing is holy ground. So Moses kicked off his sandals, keeping his eyes on the flaming bush. And he said, I am the God of your fathers, the voice said. Moses hid his face. He was afraid to look because he knew it was God who was speaking to him. And then God said this, I've heard my people crying in Egypt. My people are hurting and I have come to save them. Wow, thought Moses. How is God going to do this? <laughs> and then God said, Go, I'm sending you to Pharaoh to ask him to let my people go. Now, you remember I told you Moses was like, ah, uh, I don't think I'm the person, but okay. And then Moses says, me? Who am I to go to Pharaoh? Who am I to lead your people? And he threw himself down onto the ground before God, but he kept one eye on the burning bush. So Moses is like, I do not know why you would want me, God. I don't know why I have to do this. And God said, I will be with you always. So no matter what, Moses, I'm going to be with you. And when God said that, it said Moses trusted God. He was willing to do everything God said. And God gave Moses the words and the power he needed to talk to Pharaoh and to lead the people out of Egypt. Now, there are a lot more stories in here about Moses and the people. But that story is really important because it reminds us that God, if God wants us to do something to help other people, and it's really the call from God, God will make sure to be with us always. So we're going to hear more about Moses these next couple of weeks. We'll pay good attention. Thanks for listening. So good. And you can go out this morning, but let's say a prayer first. God, uh, thank you this morning for Luke and for Riley, for all the children of the church and for all the children of the world. 
Thank you for always being with us no matter what. And we'll trust you for this day and every day. Amen.